Okay, so what was going on? I noticed that this was blowing out extremely hot and the screen actually came off and uh, the tankless water heater was making a lot of noise inside and that could all be caused from uh, scale buildup and everything. So that's a big reason why we want to go ahead and get this fixed and go ahead and we're going to do a flush on the system. So I just wanted to point that out if you ever notice that that's getting really hot or you're actually melts the screen out of it. I mean, it's because it's working extra hard and it's it's having trouble with all the scale buildup. So, all right, let's head inside and do the flush. Okay, so we got all of our stuff to do with flush. Um, hey, what's up, Tommy? Um, basically, they sell kits and stuff like that, but they're like 150 bucks. I spent $35 and I was able to get everything. And what you're gonna need is two washer hoses, some vinegar. If you can get the cleaning vinegar, it's point six or it's uh, six percent, whereas it, this regular distilled is only five percent, and I mean it's it's basically like a twenty percent difference between the five and six percent um, for cleaning. Uh, but I'm just going to run mine longer. Normally I do it a half hour. I'm going to just go ahead and do a really good flush in the system. I'm going to let it run for about an hour. Uh, next thing you're going to need is some sort of pump, and I got this pump at Lowe's. I got it for fifteen dollars. So the only thing you have to do is you have to find fittings, which I also got at Lowe's, to go ahead and connect uh, off this piece to connect to your washer uh, hose piece uh, to go into the system. And then of course a bucket to put your distilled vinegar in and the pump. So let's go ahead and we'll start by turning off the water on the system. So we're going to turn the two valves off. And we're going to go ahead and just run the water, get it out of the system. Okay, so the water's out now. So first thing we wanna do, this is our, our in and this is our out. So our in is gonna be the cold because that's the direction that it's gonna flow in. And the cold water gets pulled in and then it's gonna heat up and then uh, it's gonna come out right here on our hot. So let's go ahead and hook the hoses up. Now, we're going to hook up the pump, which is going to be our in. And here's the fittings that I bought here. So this is going to connect into here. And then we're going to connect it on here. So we'll put a little Teflon tape on here.
connect this piece on. our bucket and we're going to put the vinegar in it. And that's three. So now we're going to go ahead pump in here so now our valves are open here so it's going to enter in go through and then come back out down through here. Okay, one thing I forgot, you make sure that you turn your gas off, otherwise it's gonna just heat it up, just like it was. What I'm checking right here is the filter screen um, that actually goes into the tankless water heater. Uh, right. For some reason, so when I had nasty. both valves open mm -hmm. and I was trying to pump out uh, the vinegar through the system, it wasn't going. So either the pump uh, didn't wasn't strong enough, or it just needed to be um, primed uh, by turning the water back on, and then it would run through. Uh, but I decided to pull this screen and check it and it was filthy so I decided to clean it up and uh, get all the uh, calcium and stuff off of it. Looks much better. We got the filter back in there now. Okay, so that was our issue. We had to prime it to get it to start running through there. So 
that's why I wasn't running. All the water was drained out and we tried pushing it through and it wouldn't go. It's, I guess it's gotta be primed. So we just kicked the water back on for a second to push it all through. Left the valve open on here and the water open so it pulled it. And now it seems to be working. Yep, and that, that is vinegar coming out. All right, so we're gonna let that run for about an hour and then we'll check back. Okay, so now that it's been running for about uh, 45 minutes, um, we're gonna go ahead and shut it off now and we'll check it and see how it comes out and how the actual heater sounds. We'll turn these off, turn these back on. Turn the gas back on. Turn that on. All right, so let's run it. Run the hot water. And you can see how that just changed color. A whole bunch of stuff just came out of there. We actually have better water pressure now, too. And you can hear this, it sounds a hundred times better. All right, so we can leave these hooked up for now. We wanna go ahead and do another flush, uh, but this is pretty much how you flush your uh, on-demand water heaters. So I hope you guys like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.